as my name's Harry. Is it ready yet? Action. <laughs> Action. <laughs> One thing we were talking about loads on social media this summer was the waste left after festivals. And apparently it's getting worse, especially with tents. This is the area the council has given permission to build on. The developers want to build offices, shops, student accommodation, and even a brand new secondary school. Wow, it is actually pretty loud right here. Not just from the band, but the people outside as well making quite a lot of noise. As much as I love being inside a really loud gig, I don't think I'd like to live right here. I need to see where Misha lived. Simon Garrett, the zoo's head of learning, is showing me around. Hello. Nice Hi. to meet you. You too. He worked here during the Misha crisis. You guys are on tour at the moment. We've been playing around Europe, around the UK. So how important are small venues to you? Massively, yeah. I mean, you'd play to your friends, and then when your friends had gone or the phase had went, you'd have to, like, earn fans and you have to do it the old-fashioned way. It seems like hate crimes against gay people are on the up. I'll be finding out what the police figures tell us. But first, let's start with the basics, with Joanna Jenkins, who supports victims. Joanna, what actually constitutes an LGBT hate crime? I'm off to another safe space, and it's on a blustery old night. <laughs> a lot of work goes into this. <laughs> The fringe. Yeah. No, <laughs> Round two of our crowdfunding mission with Ruth Royal. Hi guys. Can I, if I, you know, I'm in costume right now, is there anything I could do to kind of rehearse for the show or be a There's part no of it? There's no rehearsals. There's no rehearsals. Just going straight in. Just okay. going straight in. What do the musicians actually want? Well, the Musicians' Union has been pushing for this musician's passport. But he persevered and learned his journalism in this city, recently celebrating 30 years of hosting Radio 4's Any Questions. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr Jonathan Dimbleby.